For at TV, the world is thinking. Between 1972, when 18 year olds got the vote, or when, when they could vote for the first time, and 2000, youth vote dropped 16 percentage points. And during that time, you saw a really unhealthy cycle forming. One thing that's never going to change is that young people are never going to have a lot of money. And politicians like money. And politicians court support in part so that they can get money. But young people don't have money, so traditionally the, the cycle has been that they don't get involved and then young, uh, politicians see that they're not getting involved, so they ignore the young people. Young people feel ignored and then that exacerbates the issue. They don't vote. When politicians see they're not voting, then they really get ignored. That cycle is now unraveling. And um, there's a quotation out there that says, uh, young people were lost, but now can be found. And social networking is part of that. And politicians are figuring out where to go to reach young people. And something o Obama did in Iowa is telling. He won Iowa by 20,000 votes, 17,000 of which were from young people. And after speeches, politicians typically, or before speeches, sometimes meet with VIPs and their biggest donors. Obama actually reserved those slots for meeting with youth leaders. And he didn't just talk at them, he actually listened to them. So again, when young people feel they have a, a voice and politicians choose to take minimal effort to find them, because there really are good ways to do so now, they'll find that it's actually worth their while and translate directly into votes and in other ways, dollars.